Known for his bright, lively portrayal of life in the Low Country, renowned artist Jonathan Green has pushed his artwork from the wall onto the stage. As we recognize the contributions of local African Americans during Black History Month, I get a lesson in how someone makes a thousand words worth a picture. Let's see you at work. Okay. All right. This is so bad. There is the old saying, and the more you play with color, about so... not wanting to see sausage being made. So I gotta get some more red. But when native son Jonathan Green is seated in front of his canvas, you don't want to miss a stroke. His Charleston home is perched above a store in the heart of downtown Charleston. I focus less on the skin color and focus more on the tones within the skin. Close quarters are comfortable. Jonathan was born in tiny Gardens Corner, South Carolina, raised by a grandmother who didn't teach him to draw or paint, yet is the reason he painted fearlessly. She taught me the, the importance of looking at a person in the soul of a person rather than just focusing on the exterior. He was principally trained at the Art Institute of Chicago, but influences continued as he traveled the world. My 20s, going to Europe, Mexico, Caribbean. I just studied the artists in the perspective of other artists. He recalls the painful years. I've gone through almost five years of therapy for carpal tunnel in both arms. And the lean ones when he made $100 for a painting. And that was the first real money. And you know, I thought, oh my goodness, $100. And Richard and I had just met. And he says, oh, $100, and we went out and had dinner, and that was it. <laughs> and now collectors pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for his work. Jonathan stretched his talent from the canvas to the theater. His paintings leapt off the wall and onto the stage. Music brought his paintings to life. Well, when I heard, let's do a ballet, then the next thing I heard in my mind was, okay, let's go and raise some money, because that's what it's going to take. 1.2 million dollars for that production. You hold the paintbrush the way you hold the pencil or the brush to put on your makeup. Oh, I do a lot of that. <laughs> so you should know what to do. You can't spend time with Jonathan Green and not feel inspired to brush paint across a canvas. Not you a can, problem. You can correct this up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you were unable to paint, mm -hmm. what, what would Jonathan Green do? Hmm. I've never thought about that. I mean, I'm sure I have, but I didn't come up with anything I'd rather do. <laughs> His life's passion is pleasing to the eye, the Gullah Geechee lifestyle and culture. There it is. Oh, wow. He is go, Jonathan go. Green, alive and always uh, in living color. What a great afternoon. Well, Jonathan will design the sets and costumes for the 2016 Spoleto Festival USA's most expensive and grandest theater production, Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, a classic work of the American theater whose action is set right here in Charleston.